Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I am Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for you all. This is a general reading, so that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. This is also timeless, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing intended for you all to do so. For all of you who may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I too am a Scorpio and I'm also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background. I do incorporate those messages and they tend to correlate with the messages that come out with the cards. Right now we have Fela Kuti playing a lady. So I feel for many of you, this may be in pertinence to our feminine energy. Uh, some of the feminine Scorpios that may be tuning and tapping in. So this might be um, a very significant message for you all. We shall see. Um, I do feel like with the coin lady or the term lady, many of you are in your divine feminine energy. Many of you could be really embracing your divinity of creation right now. Maybe you're creating new ideas, creating new projects. Maybe you're being creative. Maybe you're expressing yourselves artistically, creatively. Maybe some of you are with child. Maybe your children right now are your focal point. You're focusing on being that mama bear. And as I said, fellas, I'm not forgetting about you, but because we have lady here, that's what I'm picking up on for the ladies. Now, for some of you fellas, maybe you have a very significant lady on your mind. Maybe there's someone that you have some sort of affinity towards. So we shall see what's coming and going out, going on. And we're going to tap and tune in. Before we do so, let me call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful message of love and light. I call also upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Baba Alegua, and Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Saint Germain to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I have also been calling in the great Imhotep, Heru, Aset, Sekhmet, Set, Bast, and Ma'at to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards to provide protection for this reading for our beloved Scorpios. And lastly, I do call upon the great Lord Ganesha, Lord Shiva, Lord Ashakti, Lord Garakia. I call upon Mama Kali and I call upon Mama Lakshmi to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards and to also protect our beloved Scorpios. And so it is. So may it be our shade. So let's tune in, tap in, see what's coming and going out, going on. I feel good with the shuffle here. So let's take a look and see what we got coming in for our beloved Scorpios. I know Scorpios, there's been a lot going on, especially with the uh, Mercury retrograde that just finally went direct. And now we have this Hunter's full moon. I know that the uh, energy can be very fiery, so there could be a lot of disputes, disagreements, a lot of um, rage, you know, at this time. So just be mindful to, you know, kind of take a deep breath, you know, kind of go within before responding. Don't be reaction, uh, reactionary or um, reactive, be kind of like proactive. So kind of like just kind of disengage if you do feel yourselves getting um, a little more uh, heated. Uh, because, you know, people are going to have the uh, tendency to push your buttons right now. And uh, because the full moon is in the sign of Aries, which is fire energy, uh, Aries is ruled by Mars. And Mars is all about war and fire and bloodshed. And so we don't want to, um, we don't want to feed and nurture that energy. What we want to do is learn to, to balance it out, you know. So don't, don't get, um... Don't get distracted. Don't don't allow yourself to be distracted. So let's go ahead and see what's on the bottom of the deck. So right now we have the uh, infinite possibilities. It says keep your head to the sky and keep trying. You got this. So that's um, a beautiful energy. When you keep trying, it's because you are 
persevering. You're being pers you're being resilient beyond any expectations. You know that there is infinite possibility. So regardless of how your circumstance may be at this time, or regardless of how may things may have uh, may appear, um, even I feel like you have uh, an end goal. You know, there is a. a a mission that you're on and I feel like you've been very hopeful um, a lot of you have been really like utilizing and channeling your energy right now to manifest something new um, you're being that alchemist you know the alchemist knows that it has to kind of like um, use its vulnerabilities you know it's it's learned that the vulnerabilities are like a superpower so in, in instead of you know kind of harping over what was it's like you channel that energy to co-create something new to to manifest change in your life so in order to do that you do have to be grounded you know you do have to purge what no longer serves you and you have to find a space of emotional equilibrium and I feel like that's what's giving you the hope um, this infinite possibility shows that there's some sort of wish fulfillment or success um, you know some opportunities that are opening up uh, there is a sense that there's some really great things that are coming in for you. And I feel like it's because you may have released something. Um, you know, I get star energy from this card, like the star, uh, you know, that infinite possibilities. Uh, that number eight is the infinity symbol sideways. So I do feel like with that, it's just speaking to the prayers, the petitions, um, the daily mantras, the affirmation, uh, keeping your eyes on the prize, remaining optimistic and hopeful, regardless, like I said, of how things may appear around you. I feel like with you ending certain situations, there's some sort of new beginning or some new opportunity that will be presenting itself. And I feel like it's coming because a lot of you have learned to have faith and to trust that there's uh, better out there. And I feel like the future is bright for you all. Um, some of your dreams absolutely will be coming true. And I also feel like, you know, there's some sort of positive change. And this is going to bring an end to certain challenging times that some of you have been experiencing. And it's because, as I said, um, you didn't focus on the problems. You you were more proactive in finding solutions and finding the antidotes to certain problems. You know, so I do see that there's um, some light at the end of the tunnel for you all. So that's beautiful. All right. So with this lady card, as I said, um, there could be a special lady coming in for you all, fellas. Um, this is someone that you're going to feel is really um, your match. She's going to feel like a wish fulfillment. She's going to feel like something that you completely manifested um, for some of you ladies. I feel like you all are really going to feel, um, you know, like I said, that there's just a lot of positive things coming in. Pay attention um, to what's happening around you because I do feel like your spirit team, your spirit guides, your ancestors are communicating with you at this time. Uh, this can be in, you know, whether in your dreams, um, but this also could be just through uh, certain events that may happen like synchronistic, synchronistic uh, events such as seeing certain number synchronicities, um, you know, maybe you're seeing certain animal totems, certain insects. Um, maybe some of you are finding feathers. Maybe you're having certain downloads or you may be having certain lucid dreams. Um, pay attention to that. Keep dream journals, especially during this time. I do feel like um, for many of you, you could be utilizing this uh, full moon energy. And um, <clears throat> it is a powerful full moon um, to really initiate a release ceremony, perhaps of certain habits, belief systems, uh, maybe even certain people just kind of releasing them energetically, like cutting that karmic cord, um, severing the soul tie to someone or something, maybe even a habit. If you have a habit, this is the perfect time for you to kind of work with this energy to sever the tie to whatever is binding you. But I do feel like there's a lot of um, downloads some of you may be receiving during this full moon, as I said, uh, via your dreams. Pay attention um, to your intuition because it will never lead you astray. You all speak energy. You all are empaths. So you do have the ability to pick up on um, 
certain cues, whether social cues, um, you know, energetic cues, you could pick up on those things uh, because you're highly intuitive, damn near psychic. You know, most of you all, if you really utilize, you know, or take the time, I should say, to hone your psychic abilities, you'll be amazed at what you could pick up. And um, that's a part of the reason why in that last reading, um, I was just getting the message strongly that you all may need to take a pause and a break um, from virtual reality so as to um, utilize that time to hone your skills, to hone and master your craft. Uh, because a lot of you um, need to start unpacking these gifts. Um, you need to start, you know, really uh, honing you know, these skills that the divine has blessed you with. So there's some downloads. Um, many of you are having divine interventions at this time. And it was just 10, 10 on the clock, 10, 28. So there is um, some sort of ending, but there's a beautiful, powerful new start, passionate new start you all are experiencing. So divine spirit, what's coming in, going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios? Let's pick up on the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on. And we still have Thela Kuti playing lady. So you all are, I feel, the main lady. You are the divine feminine, divine masculines. As I said that, here we are. You have your love is one in a million. And it says no one can match it. So you all are definitely unique and rare. I do feel for some of you fellas, there is a special lady that's coming in. For some of you females, someone feels you are a special lady. And they're coming to some sort of realization or having some sort of epiphany that you are wish fulfillment for them. And... Um, they could see a family. It says family time, build, connect, check in. So someone definitely can envision, um, you know, a future. You know, they can envision family. They can envision all of the beautiful things um, that a divine feminine can create, you know, such as, um, you know, a loving environment, nurturing environment, someone who gives birth to their dreams, someone very powerful, someone abundant and prosperous, uh, very successful, someone who also knows how to, you know, master their craft, someone very loving and gentle and caring. Um, I do see that someone has um, dreams of you. I feel like this person dreams a lot of you at night, you know, a lot about you at night. And they envision these things of having like this family and this house and, you know, children even. Um, and it's because this person has literally um been manifesting you or you them um but i do see here that you know there is some sort of dream that is materializing or it's coming into fruition and i feel like this is going to bring a lot of balance and um it's going to make things feel um more harmonious is what i'm picking up for you all because this is a beautiful energy when someone feels your love is one in a million that's literally someone who feels that you are rare um, that you're unique. It's almost as if you're like an earth angel, um, you know, and you're someone that they can create a beautiful home with. This is someone that feels that there's, uh, you know, some form of um, emotional fulfillment uh, that they can obtain with you, um, as well as financial fulfillment, because they do see you as someone who knows how to go out and get what you want. But this is definitely going to be like a solid connection, a solid romantic relationship. Um, and this will be someone trustworthy and honorable and very devoted to you, devoted to the connection. Um, and this is someone who has really good intentions, uh, especially emotionally. So they're very emotionally intelligent. So um, let's tap into it and see what else we got coming in, going out, going on. Right now we have Nas playing, um, and this is called A Queen's Story. So for many of you, this uh, masculine may feel that you are a queen. Um, you know, this could be that, like I said, that feminine energy who's being seen um, as someone that is very rare, a unique find, someone who is adored. I'm hearing the word adore and I'm hearing Prince's song, Adore You, um, in my mind's eye. So someone really adores you. Someone feels that you, you know, there's no one else like you. So this is beautiful. And this is the second time this card has come out. That card came out in the former reading. So that's very interesting. So with this family, someone does want to build a family. So we have a queen's story. So this person's familiar with your story. Okay. And so we have here breaking generational curses, yokes, bonds, karmic cords. It says you're powerful and 
owning it. Congrats. So that's beautiful. So this there's definitely, yeah, so this person's familiar with your story. I feel like a lot of you, we all know that Scorpios have been really going through that dark night of the soul process. And many of you are on the, um, you know, coming out of that tunnel now. You're coming out of that dark tunnel into the light. You know, things are, you know, getting, um, things are looking up for you, so to speak. And I feel like there's a lot of, um, there's just a lot of uh, improvement taking place in your life. And I feel like it's because many of you have cut some sort of uh, karmic cord, as I said earlier, broken some sort of uh, generational curses that may have been, uh, that you may have been bound and stuck to. I feel like um, you were the ones that were kind of like initiated within your families uh, to, you know, live out this this truth, you know, to to take on this responsibility of breaking the, the generational curse because I feel like many of you have been like that black sheep in the family and it's usually the black sheep in the family that tends to have to uh, do that work to transmute the negative energy and turn it into something powerful, something magical and that's actually, you know, absolutely what you all have done. Many of you could have been dealing with some very um, immature energy in your past. Uh, you know, people who were non-reciprocal, people who tend to um, be in and out, unreliable, flighty. Um, I feel like a lot of you had to learn your worth and value, learn how to say no, learn how to um, not self-sacrifice or self-sabotage in a relationship. I feel like a lot of you had to also know your worth and value. Um, and in learning that, you learned to practice healthy self-love and in doing so, you did not accept this type of energy. So you may have cut yourself free from that energy. And maybe you live in, you know, a family where the women may have just put up with a lot of, um, you know, a lot of toxic behavior from the masculines. Um, and even for the masculines, you know, maybe you have, uh, you know, also, you know, picked up some of those development, picked up some of those habits during developmental years to just kind of... Um, you know, just kind of be the the one who takes on all the burden. Maybe you were someone your mothers leaned on heavily, um, you know, in, in, in so many words, kind of like replaced you with the husband or replaced you with a man um, because they would lean on you financially or lean on you uh, for, uh, for, you know, taking on some of the responsibilities. And because it's your mom, you're not going to say no. So I do feel like um, that may have spilled over in your relationships where you always took on more of the responsibility and kind of fathered your your girlfriends opposed to being in a more reciprocal relationship where it was a healthy equal give and take so um, that's a curse that you all had to break uh, because you had to you know it's almost as if it's like you had to be the one to um, say no you know say no say no more um, you know, to, you had to learn healthy love language. You know, you had to learn to stand in your power and stand erect and to speak your truth and to, you know, to practice healthy self-care and also to teach people how to love you. I feel there's a lot of shame and regret from the person that may have, um, you know, that you may have had like that unrequited love uh, scenario with or someone who may have done you wrong um, there's a lot of regret, remorse, and shame because this person has literally been um, having a lot of um, intervention with their spirit team. I feel like they're getting a lot of uh, messages and they're starting to see things clearer now um, in your absence because I do feel this distance. Um, but I do feel like, you know, that regret and shame is definitely allowing someone um, the opportunity to kind of heal. Um, because this is a sign that someone is kind of slowly coming out of that ego, you know, coming out of their ego and is starting to, you know, look at things from someone else's perspective. It's almost like that hermit mode energy where, you know, you have to kind of get out of the me, 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 I, I, I stage and look at things from someone else's uh, perspective. And that's a, a, a sacrificial position that a person is forced into because the divine um, puts them in that position. So it's almost, it's a part of karma, you know, it's, it's definitely a part of karma dharma, but I feel someone is finally starting to see things slowly. Um, right now we have, um, who is this? It says needy bees. So someone was definitely needy. There could have been a codependent relationship. 
but I do feel like you're focused on manifesting um, newness, manifesting, um, you know, happiness, joy, success, prosperity, love. Um, maybe someone is going to regret uh, the way that they've behaved or treated you because you're, you're so busy manifesting that you're not even like thinking, um, you know, thinking about going back or returning to something old. And it's because that was a karmic situation. So it says they're tuning into your channel, um, social media, driving by your home, looking at old pics. This says obsessed, secret admirer, and stalker alert. So I do feel like you have a lot of eyes on you, Scorpios. There's definitely a lot, a lot of eyes on you because Mama Oshun, which is one of the beautiful Orishas that we called in during the beginning of the reader, this represents beauty, you know, um, attraction. Um, and I feel like someone finds you to be very sexy. And with this card, Needy Bees, I feel like this person really feels like they need you. Um, Scorpios are very naturally, very loving, very nurturing um, souls. And so I feel like for many of you, this person really needs that at this time. Um, whoever this is, someone feels like you can, um, that you can provide um, that love. Like you will give them, it's almost like you will revitalize them. It's like a food source for them um, to have someone to be attentive and affectionate. Maybe they've been um, neglected of those same, um, that same affection in a former relationship, but there is a sense that you do have a secret admirer. Uh, maybe this is someone that you know that, you know, maybe things ha hit, you know, you kind of hit it off really good in the beginning and then things kind of fizzled out and y'all went your separate ways. Maybe this person definitely has regret and remorse from how they may have handled you and how they may have dealt with the situation overall. If this is, um, you know, speaking of someone that you may be acquainted with, maybe this is someone that you, um, you know, maybe this is somebody from your past who's now having regret and remorse because they are noticing you in your light, like you're shining, you're glowing, um, you're very successful on your own. And maybe this is someone who may not have uh, seen your worth and value at the time. But there is a sense that there's a lot of eyes on you tuning in um, to your channel, whether you have social media. Um, as I said, maybe someone set up some dummy accounts so they could kind of spy in. Maybe someone's tuning into your um, your other social media platforms, Instagram, uh, maybe your TikTok, your Twitter, um, maybe even your YouTube if you have a set, um, YouTube account. Um, there is a sense that there's, um, you know, a daily check-in, you know, I feel like this person, you know, even if you have posted pictures, recent photos, this person really, they, they spend a lot of time just kind of staring at your photos. Um, maybe you guys are picking up on this um, intuitively or telepathically. Um, maybe you feel, you know, someone's energy. Um, kind of lingering around maybe if there's someone you hadn't seen in a while but they're popping up in your mind constantly it could be because this person is um like in your energy literally like they're tuning in they're watching your videos they're looking at your social media they're you know staring at photos some of them could be um you know within um you know within your location where they can like travel by your home drive by your home um so just be mindful but there is a sense of, you know, attraction, deep attraction. Uh, there's, there's, I'm hearing the word irresistible. So this person's definitely, it's almost like obsessed. And I have Love Jones playing by Chico de Barge. So this person definitely has some sort of, um, they're like jonesing on you. You know, this is someone very much like, you know, that, that, that um, secret admirer energy. This is definitely someone with whom I feel if you don't know who this is, um, there's going to be some sort of like chemistry when you do meet this person. And I feel like you're going to instantly hit it off with this person uh, when and if they do decide to come towards you and make a move. Um, but this person does find you to be like very attractive, very beautiful. So what else is coming in for our Scorpios and spirit? Thank you, spirit. That's Yep. And it says you will know what to do. Trust your um, inner gumption. So I do feel like um, if this is someone who's kind of watching you from a distance, if they do come in to, um, you know, to make a move, 
Um, I feel like the divine is telling you just trust your inner gumption. You'll know the difference between a stalker, someone obsessed, and a secret admirer. You know, and and as I said, um, you all know how to pick up on social cues. You definitely know how to read energy, speak energy, and you're also highly intuitive and empathic. So I do feel like you'll be able to uh, discern um, what this person's intentions are when they do come in. Um, and so the divine is telling you, like, that's that high priestess energy where, you know, you already know without knowing what to do. So it's like, as I said, there is a sense like, you know, maybe there's some form of, um, you know, you're, you're picking up on that, that, that those downloads, you know, some sort of download. Um, there's divine intervention. So the divine is kind of giving you the little nudges and just trust what you're feeling energetically, okay? Um, life is good, so a lot of you are experiencing a lot of um, positive um, changes in your life right now. Um, I feel like it's because of the seeds you've planted. You reap what you sow. So when you sow in good faith and you do what you um, and you do what's righteous and just, there's always going to be a positive return. So I do feel like a lot of you are really enjoying. Um, you know, happier times, better times, things are looking up, finances are good, you feel very self-sufficient, you feel independent. Um, I feel like you feel the the best you've ever felt. Um, a lot of you have developed a really healthy relationship with yourselves where you've learned to put yourself, your needs first. Um, you're practicing healthy self-care, so you're being more patient with yourself, more caring, more attentive. Uh, some of you could be treating yourselves to, um, you know, spas, going to get your um, manicures and petties done, doing little things to, you know, just um, to promote self-care, to really, um, to really love on yourselves. And as you do that, uh, that definitely makes you more attractive because self-love makes you more attractive. And that is why um, others are seeing you as very sexy. You know, they're seeing you as someone very much um, really t being more attentive to, you know, the way that you look and maybe the way that you, um, your appearance. Maybe some of you went out and got your hair cut. You know, maybe some of you have just went out and, and, and um, treated yourselves to a new wardrobe. Or maybe you went out and, and got your face beat professionally. Uh, but whatever it is, it's like people are taking notice. Um, and that confidence definitely radiates um, love and attraction and it draws people to you energetically. But life is good. So again, that infinity symbol is showing that, you know, the hope, the optimism, you know, the healing that you had um, definitely, um, that you um, experienced has really made you uh, more grounded, you know, more in alignment with your higher self. Uh, we have um, we have uh, Nina Simone playing Strange Fruit. So many of you, um, definitely, I feel like for many of you, someone's going to be, I feel like there's going to be someone that comes in and this is going to be like someone very, it's, I feel this isn't going to be someone that is your typical type. Like this isn't the usual person that you go for, but I am sensing like there's 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 gonna be some mystique or mysterious something mysterious about this energy, and it's gonna like it's gonna draw you in, and and you don't shy from mystery, you don't shy from you know um, the dark, if you will. I feel like if anything, you get more drawn to it because you're more curious to know what's really behind. Uh, you know, those eyes, what's really behind that, that person's, you know, that personality, like what's behind that person. Um, so that's really beautiful to see. So let's see. So with strange fruit, maybe there's someone coming in that's going to be like, um, maybe there's someone that's, I'm getting the word forbidden, you know, so maybe there's going to be someone and we have emotional roller coaster time to get off. So definitely, um, so with this, you will know. So we have, they're tuning into your channel. So it sounds like someone that you are familiar with. And it says, you will know, trust your inner gumption. And then it says, emotional roller coaster ride. So there could be someone kind of trying to come back and play games. Um, and with strange fruit, that is someone like, that's 
like I said, I was picking up the word forbidden and then emotional roller coaster ride. So the divine is saying this is forbidden, and you will know that because this person will be playing the same games they were playing before. Scorpios, you're not interested in anyone playing emotional um, games or emotionally manipulating. You're focused on someone emotionally intelligent. Um, so this energy, that's why the divine is saying you will know. Um, you'll know what to do because if, if your energy doesn't sit right in your spirit when someone comes around or when they say certain things, you're going to know to get off of that immediately. Like you're not going to even um, partake in um, any of those shenanigans. And with this, the chemistry is real words, unspoken love. I feel like there's going to be a couple of suitors and you will know which one to choose because as I said, the chemistry is going to be so off the chain that this person's going to come off to be very familiar, you know, and this is going to interest you. Um, and I feel like you're going to have a lot of commonalities. There's going to be a lot of things um, that the two of you may share, many of the same interests. So that's beautiful. And right now we have um, Raheem Divine closer. So we have emotional intelligence, vampire, and then we have the veil, future. So I feel like for you all, you know, you've pulled the veil off, you know, off your eyes uh, from a former relationship. I feel like you've definitely were um, overcompensating in a form of connection because you all had these high expectations of the future with this person. And I feel like, you know, the closer the time um, got to when you all were supposed to just do certain things, like maybe take the relationship to the next level. This person would just kind of, you know, start their same games. So it would be like this emotional roller coaster ride where one minute everything is up, next minute everything is down. You know, one minute you think you're building, next minute everything is crumbling around you. So it's like it's because you had a veil you know, kind of over your eyes. And it's because this veil, you were, you know, envisioning this person um, in your future. You thought that this person was a part of your future. Uh, maybe because you had this, um, you know, this, this obligation, you felt obligated to the relationship because maybe you all started a family, you lived together, you shared income. There was so many different things uh, that kind of we weaved the two of you together that you felt um, this obligation. But I feel like... Um, as time, you know, as time went on, I feel like, you know, you just became more aware that this person wasn't um, emotionally as attentive and available as you would like. Um, I feel like this person played a lot of emotional games with you, gaslighting, um, telling tall tales, definitely deceptive in the way that they communicated, making promises, never keeping them. So this was a very immature energy. And I feel like for Scorpios, you speak energy um, and you are highly intuitive. So and very emotionally intelligent. So when you have someone playing games and they're not filling your cup emotionally um, and not fulfilling you um, in any capacity, not emotionally, not mentally, and not even physically or spiritually, it was time for you to you know, get off the crazy train because I think that, you know, that emotional roller coaster ride, it was just, it was lackluster. There was no excitement anymore. Um, and I feel like you just grew closer and closer um, to the, you know, to that conclusion that it, that connection, it was, it was uh, no bueno. It was no bueno. So let's go ahead and see what we got coming and going out going on with this Halloween Oracle deck. I do feel a lot of you are very protected. Your angels, guides, ancestors protect you, guide you. They lead you along the way, along the path. I feel like they've been leading you. You know, they've been giving you those downloads as we saw earlier and having those divine uh, intervention moments with you to give you the spiritual guided guidance needed uh, to continue the path um, and your journey more importantly. But I also feel the divine is also encouraging you to protect yourselves. Um, to always make sure to wear your anointing oils, your protective jewelries, amulets, take your spiritual baths. And as I said before, like, you know, do release ceremonies for the things that no longer serve you so you're not bound and stuck and tied to anyone um, energetically. You know, some soul ties need to really be broken and, and cut. And so with this, you know, breaking generational curses, this definitely would insinuate that it's time to... Um, you know, to release someone or something. And so we have infinite possibilities yet again. And this is falling underneath infinite possibilities. It says skull of stars. 
So you all are absolutely um, going to have some sort of wish fulfillment. There is something coming in for you, Scorpios, and I feel like it's it's due in part to the prayers, the petitions that you have sent up to your angels and your ancestors, your spirit guides, your team. Um, they've heard those prayers. They've heard those petitions. And now it's materializing and manifesting in real time. I feel like for many of you, because as I said, you've released someone or something, you've healed from some form of past, um, you know, relationship or some karmic relationship, there's now new opportunities presenting themselves. Um, I feel that the faith that you've held uh, for your future, you know, regardless of how grim things looked or how dim your light seemed, I feel like there's definitely a dream that's coming true, a dream that's materializing for you. And I feel like these positive changes are going to absolutely bring some sort of end to difficult times, challenging times that many of you have been fighting through. Um, I also feel like this light at the end of the tunnel is going to light the way for a better day, for um, a brighter tomorrow. Uh, we have graveyard and it says unnecessary fear. So for many of you, there's someone who has this attraction and is drawn to you, but there's some form of fear. Maybe they fear, you know, because you may have, um, you know, this, this persona, um, they may be watching you and they feel a little intimidated. Um, we have Roscos playing Soul on Ice. So this person is someone that you could have ghosted. They feel like you iced them or you, you know, you ghosted them, you cut them off. Um, with this graveyard, I definitely feel like a connection may have, um, it may have just kind of fizzled out. You know, it just died. Like the two of you just kind of this, just, you know, this, the situation fizzled. Or maybe this is just someone who has experienced some sort of, um, ending in their relationship or in their life and you know they're kind of kind of trying to get that mojo back uh and they have these fears and they just need to you know they need to take a chance take a leap of faith and they need to be more fearless and go after what they want but their soul on ice i feel like with you 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 make their soul you know their soul is on fire with you there's a passion maybe someone they was with um like i said there was it, there was it lacked affection it lacked a lot of the emotional fulfillment they were seeking and looking for um, their soul their soul was yearning for something more and I feel like when they when they meet you they're definitely gonna feel exactly what it is that they've um, been yearning for so that's very interesting look at that so what is um why is your love is one in a million and um, why is your love is one in a million here divine spirit of love and light so your soul on ice so there's definitely some coldness. Maybe somebody feels that you're cold. You know, maybe they feel like you're you're unapproachable at this time. You know, maybe they don't know how you would take them. I do feel intimidation. So we have black cat and it says fortune meets opportunity. Cats are impervious to threat and cats are also highly intuitive. They teeter between the spiritual realm and the earthly realm. And with this cat, you could see that the cat is very wise. It's sitting amongst these books. And the eyes represent the windows to the soul. So this person is, I feel like, communicating with you um, via the dream world, via tele, you know, telepathy or intuitively. There's some form of communication. I feel like there's going to be an opportunity for the two of you to come into union. But I feel like this person is trying to learn how to approach you, how to come in and court you, how to address you. Because there is a sense that this person is kind of like trying to figure out the right approach. As I said, soul on ice, maybe this person is a little rusty. Maybe they have not courted a woman such as yourself in a while or courted a man such as yourself in a while. Um, you know, maybe there's just something about you that's very intimidating. And um, so they're trying to learn you. They're trying to figure you out. Um, this black cat definitely, like I said, um, there is a sense that they are watching you. I do feel that they are watching you. They're tuning in. But I feel intuitively you could be picking up on this. I am sensing that, um, you know, if you get this, no, it's almost as if you know, you know what I'm saying? Because that's why the divine is saying you will know. Trust your intuition. So you will know and be able to um, decipher between this real person coming in who you're going to have a very um, 
synergetic connection with opposed to who someone is that's coming in to play games and keep you stuck in a cycle, um, repeating the same cycle, going through the same things. And we have changing faces get out. Um, so for many of you, we're about to clarify the Breaking Generational Curses card. Um, and then we have Bumbrock, Sweetness and Synergy. So definitely um, you got out of a situation because it lacked uh, the sweetness, it lacked that chemistry, that connection, uh, that bond that the two of you initially had. I feel like there was probably some um, some black magic. Someone may have you know come in between a union and maybe you knew that. Maybe someone is now waking up to the truth. Um, but this person is still very immature and still kind of like juggling um, multiple options, doing things just for um, excitement, just to pass the time and to fill a void that they need to work on. Um, but I do see here you are um, feeling more in alignment, more harmonious, energetically, emotionally, spiritually. Uh, because there's been some sort of break of karmic cords and, you know, the breaking of these generational curses has given you, you know, more of a feeling of, um, of strength, you know, of power, um, and even protection, you know, your ancestors were protecting you. Like we said, those jack-o'-lanterns definitely symbolize, uh, protection. Um, and I feel like because this is your season, I feel like you're, you're more in your power at this time, Scorpios. Because this is your season, this is your time, and this is the time when, you know, the sun literally returns back to the position it was when you were born. So that sun represents not only illumination, clarity, but it also represents strength. You know, it's like food uh, for your spirit, for your soul. Um, you wouldn't be able to survive. None of us would be able to survive without the sun. Uh, we would literally freeze to death. And because that soul on ice, I feel like someone was trapped in the darkness. Someone was really stuck in a very dark um, connection, relationship due to someone doing or manipulating energies, doing some sort of voodoo, hoodoo, juju, santaria, black magic, white magic, ritual work, spell work on them. And I feel like that was something you broke. You broke the, the curse, the hex um, by you doing your due diligence. And I feel like that sweetness and synergy that you're feeling is because your angels, your guides, and your spirit team have been um, now opening up you know, opportunities and rewarding you, uh, blessing you, gifting you. So this is beautiful. Why is breaking generational curses here, divine spirit? And so with get out, I feel like you got out of a relationship with which kept you bound and stuck, with which you felt that you were um, tied to someone who was very envious and jealous, um, who made poor decisions, who didn't really care how, you know, you felt someone who was absolutely... Um, it was almost as if you didn't really fully know who this person was. Um, they wore a mask. They were never them, their authentic selves. Um, and I feel like that's what you um, knew you had to get away from and break free from. Because there was something, you know, that you had to learn in that relationship. And I feel like you absolutely learned whatever that lesson was. Um, and people come into your life to teach you lessons. And I also feel like you go and, you know, you enter into people's lives to teach them. So you are both the student and the teacher at the same damn time. Um, so it's very interesting. But you also become healers when you have to heal yourself from whatever trauma and whatever, um, whatever emotional loss you experience. And so t look at this. I literally just said someone wasn't being their authentic self and was wearing a mask. Look at this. This says invisib invisibility. And it says authenticity. And so this is what you, it was almost like you, you weren't even, you weren't even seen in this relationship. This person didn't even appreciate you. I feel like you were in a relationship with a ghost, with a figment of your imagination. This person you didn't really know. And I feel like it was because this was preordained. This person was brought into your life to teach you lessons. Regardless of whether you may have had children with this person, a family with this person, regardless if you even have history, knew this person, I do feel like there was a need for you to get out of this connection. It was a, t it's, This was a test. This was a lesson. And so in order for you to learn this lesson, you had to get out because this was leading to, you know, some sort of, um, this was leading to some sort of unfortunate um experiences in your life you know this person was definitely challenging you in ways that was causing you to be um that it was it was causing you to be inauthentic you know so it was like you had to finally choose yourself you had to finally stand in your power you had to finally 
um, speak your truth um, and take your power back from this person because I do feel like they were overbearing. And right now we have um, Jimi Hendrix playing Hey Joe. Um, so yeah, and and this song he's speaking of like going down to shoot his own his old lady. So maybe somebody would have you know eventually this connection. Maybe some of y'all were dealing with like abusive relationships, even if it wasn't physical abuse, maybe mental abuse, emotional abuse. You know that psychological abuse could be even more um, you know traumatic and detrimental um, than physical. You know because it has long term effects you know some people never snap out of it some people um remain victims years after departing a relationship you know so it's like you were you were definitely in a relationship with a ghost you was in a relationship with a figment of your imagination and i feel like when you started to you know pay attention to your intuition you realize that truth and you made a decision to walk away with this eternal love here on the bottom of the deck i am sensing that you know with that energy it says um love is love is love that is my slogan for all of you who know that and it says it transcends physical death so for many of you you had ancestors spirit guides that's why you had that divine intervention and downloads and transmissions because they were giving you spiritual guidance they were leading you on the path telling you what to avoid telling you which directions to go and i feel like that's again another reason why you know you will know trust your inner gumption because many of you started to be more you know trusting of your own intuition i feel like this person does feel regret feel remorse um, because they are waking up to the truth, especially being as though you all have departed, you know, you all have moved on, you all have, you know, walked away from that connection. Um, but I, I am sensing that, you know, there's always going to be this eternal love. Maybe this is like someone that you had a soul tie with. Um, and as I said, if you have children, you're always going to be uh, forever bonded to that person because you share a child, because you've planted seeds, you co-created life with this person. And I do feel like they now are becoming more aware um, to, you know, the roles that they played um, in the destruction of the relationship. They're now seeing you as a star, seeing you as unique, seeing you as a rare breed. And seeing your love is something that um, is hard to find and hard to match. Uh, because there's no one else quite like you Scorpios this person will love you till the end of time you know this is definitely something that could also um, speak to this being uh, like I said a spiritual union or a connection that is um, one that's from a past life so this person does have regret remorse but I also feel like you have angels and ancestors uh, that are watching you and protecting you so we have forgiveness here. Look at that. It says reducing burden. And this is clarifying the remorse and the shame. So someone is really, really desiring forgiveness from you. They really need your forgiveness. They want your forgiveness. And I feel like this person may come back and apologize uh, because they are becoming more aware of, you know, the ways in which they behaved. I feel like with this song that's playing right now, we have, um, we have Black Party and it's called Best View. So I feel like they realize, you know, with you, they had the best circumstance. They had the best view, like their lives were probably more on track. Things were more stable. Um, they were able to sustain themselves. I feel like this person definitely uh, will come in and ask for forgiveness uh, at some point in time because they're realizing that they were um, they were not as giving as they could have been. And that's why this hand is here. They realized they were not as giving, you know, to this connection and they did not really reciprocate the love, but they do want to express and apologize the deep regret, the shame and the remorse that they feel um, for the way that they behaved. I feel like for many of you, it says exploring um it says exploring wildness. So this is what this person was doing. I feel like they were exploring options and they were being wild as hell, being very immature, feeling like, you know, it's just that non-committal energy, someone who wants to come and go as they please, even though they were in a committed relationship. And I feel like instead of them expressing that truth to you, they just chose to play games and, you know, lie and cheat and sneak around. And I feel like, you know, as I said, highly intuitive, you were able to see beyond the veil see through the illusions that this person was painting when you stopped and paid attention i feel like for a long time many of you gave this person the benefit of the doubt and you loved them unconditionally but when you started to realize that they were lying and being deceptive and sneaky that's when all stops that's when it was all this all the stops he was like I'm, I'm pulling out of this situation but they were definitely being um 
very immature um, going out there and just running around drinking, partying, smoking, hanging out with different people um, and not really considering your feelings, considering your thoughts, uh, considering the relationship or the connection or even the family. I feel like there's a lot of shame because they're playing all of these things back in, you know, in their mind. Maybe when they rest at night, they're resting on a guilty conscience. They can't rest at night. They're waking up in cold sweats or they're just having difficulties going to sleep at night and they just really strongly um, desire your forgiveness desire um, you know to uh, come in and apologize to right their wrongs um, but I do feel and sense that you know with this veil here um, yeah you you this person did pull the wool over your eyes for long enough and you definitely um, envisioned a different type of future but this person was too busy out there you know living a best life going out and, and, and having fun and these blind spots um, were you know definitely because you weren't paying attention to the red flags because you was giving someone the benefit of the doubt but when you realize like i said there goes the death card this is you walking away and it's because you found something out something came to light and i feel like what came to light was the fact that you was dealing with you know a ghost you know someone that you did not really know you know someone that you that, that you discovered was wearing a mask some of it was fake um and so we have the spinners here i'll be around so yeah, I'll be around. We're about to clarify. They're tuning into your channel. So this person is definitely still around, still in the picture. Um, even if you're not communicating with them, even if there is distance between you and this person, because I do feel a sense of distance. You know, I feel like whether it's emotional distance, physical distance, um, there is distance between you and this person. But I am sensing that this person is getting around that somehow. So they're getting around the fact that maybe you have a private page. Maybe, like I said, they've set up a dummy account. And so you have to pay attention to that. Um, maybe they're logging into friends and family's accounts with whom you two maybe um, have mutual friends with and they're able to watch you that way. Or maybe they're simply just going to, you know, like your YouTube and other platforms that cannot be uh, privatized and they're watching you there through a dummy account. Either way, this person's tuning in, they're watching you um, and they are, you know, there is a sense that. Um, and I'm feeling this is past energy, um, someone from your past, whether friends, you know, and, and, and I, there's a saying that like, you know, the reason you, you may need to abandon ship is if the ships aren't taking you anywhere. So if your relationship, your love ship, your friendships, even your family dynamics, if those are not taking you anywhere, if you don't feel like it's helping you to grow and become a better version of yourself, then it's time to abandon ship. And I feel like that's what you did. But this person now is really, really interested in um, what you got going on right now. So let's see. And with I'll be around, this person is still, and that's probably why, you know, this obsessed is sticking out to me right there. Because with I'll be around, regardless of you cutting them off, they're still there. So it's like they feel like they have to, you know, like they're still going to be here regardless. Look at this. And it says graveyard, unnecessary fear flew right back out again. So, yeah, this person is um, with this graveyard. This definitely is someone that you done like you deaded this situation. You're dead, stinking and buried. And I feel like this person, instead of coming in. And just, you know, saying what they feel, asking for forgiveness. I feel like they have a lot of fears. And the divine is saying it's unnecessary fear because many of you have already gotten over this um, to the point where you don't even have that animosity, that resentment, that fire that you initially had when they did you dirty. Um, because I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all was done dirty. Like this person just abandoned you. They didn't care how you felt. They didn't take into account the children, the bills. They just left you with all the bills, left you with everything. Maybe during um, that whole pandemic last year, they just up and, and abandoned you and went and left and went with somebody else. And you were stuck there trying to figure out how you were going to pay the bills, pay the car note, how you going to get the, the rent paid. Like, And they just left. And so now, whatever they left you for, whatever grass they thought was greener, they're realizing they were with somebody that was completely batshit crazy. And this person may have possibly been doing some sort of root work, spell work on their ass. They probably are the reason why the two of you have had so much um, tension and, and um, discourse in your relationship because they was doing things to cause friction between you and, you know, maybe the mother or the father of your child. Um, but I feel like with this energy, the divine is saying this person wants to come back. Someone wants to come back and they want to apologize uh, for their mistreatment, their behavior. And I feel like what um, the divine is saying is that um, 
this person is riddled with a lot of regret and remorse um, and that's causing them to be afraid to come in because they know they did a lot of dirt you know and so they're not able to gauge how you're going to respond look at this look at this ghost on the bottom of the deck so this is that person that they could have ghosted you and now they want to reappear they want to come back but they have dev they have a lot of regret and they have a lot of fears because of the way that they left in the past. So let's see. What, why is you will know? Trust your inner gumption. And my nose is itching like crazy. And so it says you will know. So there's some things that you may not be privy to. Blind spots. So this means like assessment is necessary. So some of y'all need to meditate, contemplate, take a deep dive, go within, take some internal self audits. But trust your inner gumption overall. And this candle is lit on the crown chakra. So this is about trusting your intuition and being discerning. Use head over heart when it comes to whatever, you know, comes towards you, whatever, whoever returns. This person is remorseful. There is heavy burden on this person. And I feel like the divine wants you to reduce the burden because maybe somebody's suffering from some sort of mental conflict. You know, maybe they're having a lot of mental conflict right now because a lot of regret energy is here. And then we have the underworld, and it says where all things pause and begin again. See that? And pause and begin again. Emotional roller coaster ride. So this is what this person was doing. A lot of games, you know, up and down, round and round. This is that energy of like, you know, trying to keep you stuck and stagnant with the child's play, with the immaturity, not meaning what they say and saying what they mean, not letting their words line up with their actions because there's always a motive and, and a hidden agenda, and it's to get what they want. So this person will come in. And, and try to, you know, talk talk you in circles. But I feel like with this pause and begin, that's what your relationship was about. It was flighty. It was in and out. They'd be in one minute and dash out. And I feel like that's what the divine is telling you. Trust your inner gumption. Because somebody's going to come in with the same games, with the same old, same old. And nothing's changed. And we have regret here. Ghost. So maybe this person is, you know, being forced to reflect back on their actions. Reflect back on what they've done. And they're heavy, you know, they're having heavy regret and remorse and we have R. Kelly playing as I look into my life and um, that's what this person is doing deep reflection didn't I say it's almost like that hermit mode where it's a sacrificial position the divine has him in and so we have high priestess and transformation so this is exactly the energy of you will know that high priestess energy very intuitive very clairvoyant someone very psychic knowing what to do you've gone through enormous change so the divine is saying that you have great blessings great blessings great opportunities presenting themselves so trust what you know already because you carry the wisdom you carry ancient wisdom and knowledge so there isn't anything anyone could get past you right now so if your your inner you know if your soul your spirit isn't sitting right with something then trust that first and foremost because someone may be coming in trying to play you trying to you know you know, bamboozle you, trying to gaffle you, you know, and I feel like it's because they know that you have just broken free, you have some wish fulfillment here, you have new opportunity, new love coming in, and so they could be coming in as a distraction, but a thing can only distract you if you give it your attention, and I feel like you could forgive without, you know, taking anyone back, forgiveness is always for you because it doesn't keep you bound and stuck, and that could be why I was picking up on that release ceremony, because when you forgive people, um, you can release them and let them go. Let them go live whatever happy life they want to live with whomever they want to live it with. And you feel nothing, you know, about it. You know, it doesn't affect you because you let them go. Let them run free. And you're free, more importantly. So let's go ahead and cut this deck. Let's see what's coming and going out going on with our beloved Scorpios from the Goddess Guidance deck. And so we have Sacred Space, Nematoma. So many of you definitely spend a lot of time in front of your altars calling upon your angels, your guides, your ancestors, asking them for strength, courage, wisdom to get through some difficulties, to get through those painful endings, those tower moments, to get through the heartbreak, the, the, point, the, 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 the betrayals, the cheats, the lies. I feel like many of you have um, been spending a lot of time in front of your altars. If you have not been, I feel like the divine is encouraging you to create an altar or some sort of power place where you can connect with your ancestors. Make more offers to them, offerings, and you can give them offerings of flowers, water, food, candies. Learn about your all your ancestors and give them those treats on their specific days. But I feel like because a lot of you have been doing that, that's why there's wish fulfillment here. There's some sort of miracle 
And I feel like you, you're receiving karma. You know, things are being handled fairly and justly for you. We have Mary J. Blige, everything. So there's definitely, someone's going to come in and give you everything. And with this fortune meets opportunity, this person's coming in and they want to shower you with everything, with their love, their time, their affection. They want to protect you, guide you. You know, they want to be your support system. This is going to be like a spiritual um, partner. And this right here is saying that things are being here handled fairly and justly for you, Scorpios. So this is powerful. So why is, wow. So it says your love is one in a million and then you have undying love. So this is another message of love right under love. And then it says fortune meets opportunity. So there is an opportunity in this love. This also saying that it's it's eternal. So this is someone that you could possibly have a past life connection with. This is an, a, a, an eternal love. And it says regardless of the situation. So regardless of the situation, whether you're with this person or not, this will be an eternal love. So this person is going to be like your forever person. This is someone you're going to grow old with. This is someone that's going to become your best friend. This is going to be your life partner. And that's the energy that I was picking up earlier. This is beautiful. So divine spirit. And we have divine passion. So this person is going to make you feel very passionate, very loved, very irresistible. There's a sensational connection. I feel like a lot of you are also, you know, utilizing, like I said, like tapping into your divinity of creation. So many of you are, you know, unpacking and unearthing certain passions, certain skills, certain talents, hidden talents, gifts that have been lying dormant within you. And you're trusting what your heart's desires are. You're doing what makes you feel happy, alive, vibrant rejuvenated and this has helped to you know keep you on your path so this is powerful and that's what I was meaning when I was saying like earlier like you wasn't living your truth because this person was almost like living vicariously through you they weren't encouraging you to be your greatest version of yourself they was you know more so encouraging you to kind of like cater and teeter to their needs their wants even though you didn't know who they were because they didn't know who they were this person is a ghost figment they wore masks to get around to get through so it's almost like you were in a relationship or in a connection with with a stranger you know but this is a, a curse that needed to be broken this is a cord that needed to be cut and i feel like there's karma being served both parties you reap what you sow as i said if you do things righteously and justly then you will have positive uh karma things will come out and turn out in your favor but I feel this person may also be going through some sort of karmic lesson as well. So why is generational curse here and um, invisibility? See that? Divine feminine. Remember, lady was playing in the beginning of the reading. So as I was saying, I feel like a lot of you feminine energies, this was in reference to you and your journey and what you were experiencing. Many of you are the divine feminine. If you're masculine, many of you are the divine masculine. And so it was meant for you to go through this because, as I said, pressure busts pipes and it also creates diamonds. And you all, this was preordained. This was meant for you to go through this. This was a part of your destiny, a part of your life's mission to learn how to break the yoke within your family, um, in your family pool, in your family tree. You were the one equipped to do this because you were the black sheep. You were the weird one. You were the damn, you know the misunderstood or Mr. Understood. And that means that you had a completely different perspective than everyone else. And you believed in your ability, even though, you know, this speaks to being authentic also. So I feel like you all embraced who you were unapologetically and you were being your true selves, regardless of who felt what about it. I feel like this is what was required and necessary to, in order to break these generational curses, because everybody else was just going along to get along. Just doing what was done before where you was being more resistant and you were questioning things, you know. And this is because you, you're the divine feminine. This is someone who's very powerful. This is also someone, as I said, who co-creates with source. This is the divinity of the divine feminine and divine masculine is creation. So you wasn't going to just follow some other, some old Norway or byway or some old system or belief system. You were going to create your own that was going to work for you. So this is a master manifester. This is someone powerful. This is someone who knows how to access new ideas, give birth to new conditions. And this is what broke the yoke. Because you trusted your own intuition. You trusted your own ability. You, you, you were embraced you. And you leaned on your strength. 
you leaned on your strength and someone sees you as very powerful you know someone sees you as in your power and I feel like you you learned just how strong you were by dealing with this person and by breaking that generational curse and that yoke and cutting that karmic connection off because it was a very strong bond this person really had you wrapped around their finger and I feel like it was because you truly loved them with your mind, your body, your soul. You loved them unconditionally, but they didn't love you unconditionally. You did everything you could in your power for them, but they didn't do anything for you. I feel like you were abandoned. I feel like a lot of you were mistreated beyond measure. I feel like someone left you for someone else that they just met. It was like this wasn't even someone that they knew for a long period of time, but they just abandoned ship because they thought they had something better. And it's because they met a mirror reflection of themselves. Someone that knew how to paint pictures, someone else that was wearing a mask. So this person held a mirror, a mirror up to your person. And that mirror made them feel like they was looking at their, you know, at their um, soulmate. And maybe that is a soulmate for them, but it's a karmic soulmate. And that means that they're going to have a lot of lessons to learn in that relationship. And so we have Yellow Man playing Sin, um, Sin Sima. And so with this here, be strong. I feel like this person definitely is trying to be strong, trying to muster up the courage and the strength, you know, to be more assertive, to come in and apologize because they do see how wrong they were. They do see how, you know, the mistakes that they've made. Maybe this is someone else, you know. Let's see what's going on. Okay, flip back over. Oh, thank you, spirit. So remorse, regret, shame, forgiveness. See that? And it says boundaries. So a lot of you, you've definitely set your boundaries, you know. This is someone who's, you're literally on do not disturb my groove. You know, because you love yourself now. So you're not just going to allow anyone coming in, going out, coming in, going out. Because that person was, they had, a, they, they did enough of that. That flighty, in and out, unreliable, impulsive energy. You're not just letting anybody, uh, you know, have demands on your time, your energy anymore. You're not doing that. Your favorite word right now is hell no. You know, I'll get to you when I get to you. But, you know, I feel this person does want your forgiveness because they do feel shut out. They do feel cut off. And they know you're serious and you mean business. We have divine timing here. So there's definitely some things that are happening behind the scenes. And I feel like, you know, if you are, um, you know, if you are waiting for someone or if you are waiting for a connection or a relationship or something, I feel like it's literally going to happen in divine time. And like, that's the perfect time. And so continue doing what you're doing. Continue mastering your craft, honing your skills, healing, continue living your best life. Treating yourselves like the divine feminines, the queens, the goddesses, the gods, the kings, the divine masculines that you are. You know, because you do got some people like tuning into your channel. So say cheese, you know, give them something to look at. But there's definitely a lot of <laughs> uh, fear here. Someone's very fearful of coming towards you. And it's because they see that you got boundaries. You got your back turned to the bullshit. It's like block a block a block a baby. I think it's not to, you are not with the bullshit. And they can feel that. They can sense that shit. And you are divinely protected. Look at this. So if anybody has any any type of um, ideas to try to come in and attack or trying to send anything to you, towards you, at you, you know, it, you're protected. So some of you, the divine is also saying if you have any fears that people are trying to attack you or do things, um, you know, remotely, doing spell work on you remotely, the divine is saying don't worry about that because you have spiritual protection here. Artemis is protecting you. And they also know, whoever's tuning into your channel also knows that you're protected. You know, these stalkers, whoever these people are, they know that you're also spiritually protected. And so that could be another reason why, you know, there's some fear here. Because, you know, maybe they know, like, you know, you're, you're a very spiritual uh, being and they don't really know how to come in and speak that language. We have inner wisdom. And this is here clarifying trust your inner gumption you see that so the divine is already saying this is like double confirmation it says you will know what to do and it says you will know trust your inner gumption trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action so you will know what to do when and if someone does come in with an apology or if someone comes in and offers you know 
to take you out or to have a conversation, you'll know what to do. And and just pay attention, you know, because there are going to be some blind spots, meaning there's going to be some other things. Further investigation is going to be needed. So you may not be privy to all the deets. You may, may not be privy to all the information, but just do your own due diligence to trust your inner wisdom. Because this owl definitely denotes wise dome. So that's about being discerning. That's about seeking clarity in a situation. And we have, um, you remind me of something. So this could, this could be someone that's like, you know, coming in, like I said, with a very familiar energy, you know, and this could be someone who's like <clears throat> very familiar, excuse me, you know, whether they have uh, similar interests, whether they, you know, have the same spiritual practice, whatever it is, the divine is telling you, trust what you feel. And we have independent here. So I feel like with this emotional roller coaster ride, that's exactly what you all did. And with this underworld, it says where all things pause and begin again. This is how you were able to, you know, obtain your peace and your solitude by standing erect, by walking away from a connection that was keeping you stuck and stagnant. Somebody that was playing a lot of emotional games, manipulation, emotional manipulation, playing, you know, the breadcrumb game, giving you little bits and pieces just to keep you dangling and hanging on. <clears throat> until you finally got hip to that game and you said, I'm getting off this crazy train. So you can have at it, sir or ma'am. And with this bass, you've learned that your independence was absolutely the foundation to your strength, your success, your happiness, your peace. You've created a safe haven for yourself. A lot of you are self-sufficient right now, independent, financially free, stable, abundant, successful. And it's because you got rid of somebody that was trying to, you know, trying to control and manipulate you in the past. And we have Be Strong, Sekhmet, another ancestor that I called or goddess that I called during the pre-shuffle. So you are definitely stronger than you thought you were. I feel like, and you realized how strong you were when you told that person, pardon my back. <laughs> and you walked your ass away. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, that strength definitely has assured that you're going to have some sort of positive and successful outcome and things are going to look up for you. Things are going to be very beautiful. Many of you love music. Many of you play instruments. You sing. You write songs. Maybe you're poets. I feel like a lot of you use words to express yourselves. And I feel like those words help you to, um, to get through certain pain. You know, it helps you to... Uh, you know, kind of heal certain painful experiences because it's, it gives you an opportunity to express yourself. It gives you that ability to, you know, express that pain and that hurt. We have this 19 rest and rejuvenation and we have the number two journey on the split. And so I do feel like a lot of you have made a decision to walk away, to leave a situation as we see emotional roller coaster ride and get off. Right now we have transformation playing by fabulous. So that's exactly what was required for you to transform you had to walk away you had to choose yourselves you went through enormous change you went through tower moments you went through betrayal deceit cheating lying backstabbing you went through all of that and you chose yourselves at the end of the day and you seem so happy look how her hands are up it's just like you're just like you're free you know this is like freedom and this is what you're going to do when you get to where you need to be your destination this three definitely um, i'm sorry this 19 reduces to 10 so that's not only about an ending, but this is also about a brand new beginning because that 10 become reduces to the one. And you can see here, this is about rejuvenation, recalibration, recu recuperation, and recovery more importantly. So many of you are recovering, you're focusing on healing, you're focusing on channeling your feelings, your thoughts, on align finding alignments and grounding your energy, and more importantly, transmuting whatever those negative experiences and circumstances were that you have, um, you know, survived, you know, and thrived from. So let's tap and tune in. I see this um, blossoming abundance here. So yet again, another confirmation that many of you will be walking into some sort of financial um, freedom. But, you know, new opportunities financially are going to be opening up for you, whether that coming in the, you know, in the... Um, Coming in the guise of maybe a new job offer, maybe a promotion, a pay increase. Maybe some of you are going to be getting, you know, your YouTube channels monetized. Maybe some of you are getting like an insurance payout, 
or some sort of um, some sort of um, will inheritance. So let's cut the deck, tap, tap and tune in. So transformation, many of you, this is, you know, that's that's the ascension. That's graduation. When you get the transformation song playing, it's just double confirmation that you've transformed through some really difficult times. And that's why there's wish fulfillment coming in for you. And we have the garden and the gate on the bottom of the deck. So for many of you, there was this fear that was, you know, keeping you held up, that was holding you back. But I feel like for many of you, you definitely assessed situations and regardless of how bound and stuck you may have felt and how much fear may have paralyzed you, I do feel like you are, you know, utilizing this time to really assess and plan and prepare and strategize a way to, you know, exit this garden because a lot of this is is about, you know, being in a comfort zone, you know, kind of living within the confinements of this this very safe space, but it's like there's a whole world out there. And I feel like for many of you, you took some of your, you know, took some of your gripes to source and asked them for strength, courage, and um, you will fly free, you will transform. So there was a lot of indecision here. Someone is really like indecisive about how to come towards you with this undying love. And that's why the divine is saying the love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. So someone's torn between two, and this could be because someone's energy could be manipulated. Someone could be having someone do some sort of ritual work. I do feel like this also could be, you know, self-deception. And with this magician here, there's definitely someone manipulating the energies and playing a lot of games. But I do feel like with this black cat, fortune meets opportunity, someone put them, open themselves up to um, be in a situation where they can be manipulated because as I said, they didn't take enough time to get to know with whom they were dealing with. Um, they lacked the knowledge and the wisdom and they didn't have, um, they didn't utilize their own intuition and they got caught up in something that was rather, um, they got caught up in a jam <laughs> because jamming is playing by Barb Marley. So somebody's caught up in a jam, but regardless of, you know, how this person is, is, is um, currently bound and stuck. I do feel that there is protection here and that someone will be broken free from some sort of curse and hex because we do have uh, the breaking generational curses here and this fertility. Maybe you will be the one to break them free because you've broken whatever curses and hexes off of yourself. So this will also activate someone else to be free. So look at this. So we have the world card. So that denotes an ending. The world always signifies there was some sort of ending. This 29 reduces to 11. And that 11 is usually the number of, you know, like a twin flame or a soulmate or a spiritual union. I am sensing and feeling that the divine is saying that you've learned valuable lessons, learned how to navigate certain situations and become your authentic self. And in you becoming your authentic self, someone too now has the ability to awaken to who they are. I feel there is a sense that you've held up a mirror to someone to show them that they are, um, you know, kind of like wearing a mask, not being their authentic selves because they've watched you literally uh, transform, you know, and maybe someone is in a jam and I do feel that maybe there is distance between you and this person and this person will maybe have to travel, um, you know, to come and communicate with you. There is a sense that many of you uh, Scorpios are initiates of um, the spiritual practicing. Like you may be a healer, a shaman, a light worker, a clairvoyant, clairaudient, a psychic, a scryer, someone who you know is a cardomance, uses cardomancy. Like there's so many different ways in which you could utilize your talent. Maybe some of you are singers and you write music that's very conscious, that's soul food. Um, but I do feel that there is a sense that, you know, with this, that song transformation and then the world card that definitely is indicating there was some level of, you know, ascension, growth, graduating, leveling up. Um, and I feel like you, you have received many downloads, a lot of spiritual downloads, a lot of divine interventions. Um, as I said, you are master manifestors. 
uh, but you've also learned a great deal on this journey. So with this um, Archangel Raphael, another angel I called into the reading, this is clarifying the regret, the remorse. So there was someone whose heart was broken in this situation, and this is also the number 11. So this 11 definitely speaking to there was some sort of connection um, where someone definitely broke your heart, their heart's broken, but you've set boundaries and now they're seeking regret. Um, they're seeking forgiveness because they have deep shame and regret. Uh, because now they're able to see things uh, for what, you know, for what truly happened. You know, that 11 is like that, that portal that opens up. It's a power number, but it opens up. It's like it's a pillar, two pillars. And so that op that allows for de divine intervention, downloads, and transmissions to come through. And I do feel like someone is really getting a lot of downloads at this time, especially during this full moon. Someone could really be... Um, you know, having really lucid dreams or just really having certain sensations or certain epiphanies. Maybe they're having certain visitors, like I said, from certain animal totems, insects, seeing certain number synchronicities. And when they do their research, they realize that that's a direct message from source. But um, there is a sense that, you know, someone's heart um, is, is beginning to heal. Um, someone's heart is beginning to open also. Uh, but I do feel like open up to you because this, I feel someone was completely closed off, shut off in the past, but now they're open, but you're closed because you have set a boundary. Um, so we have here community and this community represents like your spirit team, your spirit guides. If you look closely, there's like orbs and the orbs also, you know, they always represent like, you know, spiritual entities, energies, um, you know, in, in that space. So there is a sense that, especially with that seven, there's like divine energy around you. And with this Artemis here, we do see that, you know, a lot of protection is around you, around, you know, your, um, around your connections, your relationships at this time. And even, you know, around whatever it is you're doing, you know, your business, um, the way that you make your money, there's protection around all of that. And I feel like someone is really fearful because maybe they're seeing and sensing that you're getting a lot of attention on your platforms. Maybe they see that you are interacting with certain people, having certain conversations. Maybe, as I said, they see you posting pictures or they're getting some sort of inclination of where your mind is at by some of the posts and the memes that you um, post. And, you know, I feel like you, you are very protected. Um, you know, you're very protected and protective of your energy at this time. And so someone's feeling very, um, they're feeling intimidated, you know, that's the only way I can man say it because this unnecessary fear, um, they're very intimidated and mostly because they know they did a lot of dirt in the past. Um, with this uh, temple path here on the bottom of the deck, as I always say, I feel like this definitely denotes like you're an initiate um, of some higher knowledge, higher calling. And um, you will know, you know, what your your past, you know, what your life's mission is. Some of you already know and you're already um, you're already on that journey of self-discovery. But I feel like a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge has been obtained um, in this journey, in this dark night of the soul journey. And I feel like you've learned to trust your intuition because it's kind of helped you. Um, we have Mary J. Blige be with you featuring Lauren Hill. And so, yeah, someone may come back talking about they want to be with you. And the divine is telling you, you will know what to do with that information. And so we have two archangels. We have Archangel Ariel. And then we have Archangel Mikael. So the first archangel I laid eyes on was Archangel Mikael. And as I said, with this inner wisdom, inner knowledge, I definitely feel Archangel Mikael deals with that root chakra, which is how you get to the root cause of the situation. And that's why the divine is telling you to trust your inner gumption. Because when you trust your inner wisdom, your inner gumption, you take into account everything that you've already gone through and experienced with said person or with a certain situation. And you can apply the wisdom and knowledge that you have experienced in former situations and circumstance to a current situation. So with this sword, this is the sword of truth. And this 35 reduces to eight. So that's the infinity symbol. So it's about you, you know, not only being hopeful, but also trusting that there is some enlightenment. There is some truth that's going to come to light. There is an epiphany or some sort of um, 
aha moment that I feel you are going to obtain. Um, maybe someone is coming in and I feel like Archangel Mikael is going to protect you um, from anything that doesn't serve your highest good as well. Because he is a very protective angel. And someone will come in and say, look, I want to be with you. But the divine is saying there are blind spots and you need to trust your inner wisdom and your inner gumption. Because maybe there's some things that you may not be privy to. And um, with the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, this is clarifying the emotional roller coaster ride. And um, it's also clarifying the um, underworld. Um, so it says where all things pause and begin again. So I feel like it's going to it's going to require strength. It's going to require you to muster up your strength um, and to really be true to what you feel. You know, as I said, you know, this this second chakra is really about um, embracing your own sexuality, sensuality, putting you first self care, you know, being your first um, priority. And so I feel like, you know, when someone comes back. This is this is like an emotional roller coaster ride because this may be someone who has the tendency to come in and go out, come in, disappear, reappear, disappear. This is like a game to them. And so with this energy, the divine is telling you, look, you're stronger than you realize and you have the ability to walk away. You have the ability to completely um, choose you, you know, and, and leave this person in the past where they belong. Um, we have victory here on the bottom of the deck. So there is a victory. And this victory means that you're going to victoriously make a decision that's going to lead to an ending because this victory is the number 28. And so there is some sort of breakthrough. There is some sort of victory. There is going to be a successful outcome. And I feel like it's because you're going to trust your, um, you're going to trust, um, I feel like your, your heart, you're going to use your, your heart to make a decision, um, in addition to your logic. So it's like you're going to use your head, but you're also your heart. You're going to trust what you're feeling, you know, um, energetically as well. You know, this is like that you're going to have to do what's best for you. And because you love yourself, that's why I'm saying you're going to use your heart to make this decision because you now love you first. And so that's, that will lead to a victory. And someone's going to be very envious they're going to be envious because they couldn't cause confusion and they couldn't cause confusion from you getting with your divine masculine, divine feminine, the yang, tia, yin. So you will get into a union with someone and there will be a victory here. And that 22 definitely is the 1111 energy, that same vibration. You are the divine feminine, divine masculine. Fertility card showed up. This person who has envy, like I said, this is the same person that's tuning into your channel and um, watching you, you know, this kind of like studying, watching. And they also have a lot of envy, a lot of um, I feel disdain also. And this could be even a karmic, you know, because she was trying to cause com confusion as well. And we have Breeze playing by Prodigy, Rising Power King. So yeah, definitely um, you will have a victory regardless over your haters. This person that's trying to cause confusion and um, whatever else in your life is not going to be successful because you are protected. You know, you're protected from those shenanigans. Artemis is here, remember? So let's go ahead and get a couple more messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So we're going to pull three cards. To see just what the energy is. Divine spirit. See what's coming in, going out, going on. And we have breeze. So I feel like it's going to be a breeze. You know, because a lot of you have learned a lot. So we got a couple of cards that ran away. And we have the wheel in the bottom of the deck. So there's a lot of fortune coming in for you as we was picking up. I'm going to take these cards because these apparently want to be the message. But with that fortune, that fortune card, that will of fortune, I do feel like this is just speaking again to that fresh new start uh, that you all are going to be embarking on because you have the end of delay. So whatever was being blocked and delayed due to some sort of stuff and stagnant energy, you are going to be moving past that pretty quickly. I also feel like there's going to be some unexpected progress. So whatever you are doing, continue to do it. Don't let anyone keep you stuck. Don't let anyone keep you, you know, have you repeating cycles that you've since learned. And I do feel this positive change 
is going to, you know, it could be like a new car, um, you know, some sort of new vehicle, or even traveling. So we have a couple of messages that flew out. So we have the Ace of Wands. So what did I just say about a new beginning, passionate new start? And here we have it. So you have a definite brand new beginning, a new start. And this is um, a beautiful new opportunity that could be presenting itself as well. And I do feel like it's going to require courage and optimism. Um, but you're going to be doing something you're completely passionate about. And you just have to trust your own inner gumption um, when it comes to that. You also have the Page of Swords. So this is that energy of that person that's tuning into your channel, your social media, driving by your home. That's that stalker, that obsessed person, that person that's watching whatever you do, how you do, just kind of stalking and lurking in the background. Um, I do feel this person has um, a desire to come in and communicate, uh, but this is a very immature, younger energy. Um, this is someone who could be kind of like, like I said, studying in you. Um, but they are also, you know, this is also, this could be someone just kind of like trying to figure things out also, you know, trying to figure out a way to come in because they want to get something off their chest. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is really someone very loyal. Um, this is a very dedicated energy, someone very protective, as I said. You was um, attracting someone on that vibration. Um, but this is someone who also pays attention to the details. So he doesn't rush in like the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords. He's more so someone who calculates, who plans. You can see here he's planning um, how he's going to take action. So this is a very slow moving night. But he also, when he does come in, he invests, um, you know, with the intention of long term uh, commitment. You know, this is someone who's very um, resourceful and practical, caring and kind. We have the sun card here. So you do have um, something very beautiful. There's a lot of success, um, great joy, bright future. There's something brilliant coming to light, or maybe you're having some form of a brilliant epiphany, some sort of um, you know download that's really going to make you feel like there's some um, opportunities that are just like magical, you know, like a dream come true that are coming into fruition. But I feel like you also need to be sure to to give thanks, to give, th um, you know, to be humble and to give thanks to your angels, your guides, to the divine um, for all that's coming in. Always, you know, pay homage. Remember that Nematoma is the sacred space. So remember to give offerings to your deities, to your ancestors. We do have the five of wands and we have the five of swords here. So there is someone coming in as a, a, a trickster, someone who wants to win at all costs, someone who definitely likes to bring conflict into the game, um, someone who really likes to play games. Um, this is someone who brings drama. Um, and this is also someone who uh, is very ambitious. You know, this is an opponent, someone who sees you as, you know, competition. So, you know, there's a way to avoid the situation. Don't make any, let's let the train go by. So that's confirmation. So remember what I said when I said there's going to be some challenging energies during this full moon. Don't fall for the okie doke. You know, don't make an unwise choice and entangle with this energy because this person likes to gamble, you know, their time and their energy and they lose all every time. And I feel like this person is definitely someone who lacks integrity. So they just want to pull you down to their level. So don't don't vibrate low. Continue vibrating higher. But this is someone definitely with um, very questionable motives. But I feel like with the sun card here, they ain't going to be able to touch you because you are what? You are divinely protected. Um, Artemis is saying that you're spiritually protected. So whatever these people are doing in the dark, whatever conflicts they're planning on, that's that person I was feeling like was, was sitting there studying you, watching you, trying to plan some sort of um, an attack or coming in because they have something to say. Um, just be wise because you have two suitors. And I feel like one is someone who's really uh, coming in with good intentions, whereas the other is coming in with the intent to cause conflict, to cause confusion. Um and to also, you know, with, with, with really questionable motives. So let's go ahead and clarify those messages with the um, Kipper deck. And then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got going in, going out, going out. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. What messages? Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Divine Spirit of Love and Light. 
messages you have for Scorpio. So this child keeps posting, I mean, keeps popping out. So I feel like this child wants to come out. So for many of you, somebody's pregnant. Um, somebody, either someone's pregnant or someone's having a child. Um, I mean, or someone had a child. Or maybe this is just speaking to you all, um, really focusing on your mommy, daddy duties. You know, really protective of your babies, taking care of your babies. Um, but a child is of significant significance. And we have, um, I just saw a courthouse and mature woman. So some of you all, y'all might have to go to court for some sort of child custody case. Maybe y'all are taking someone to court for, you know, child support. And I feel like it's going to rule in your favor if that is the case. And so we have imprisonment. So someone is really, oh man, someone's stuck. Someone's stuck, trapped. You know, and this is someone who really thought that they was going to be able to get away with the okie doke. And, um, and I feel like you've seen everything. You know, this is like, this is someone who definitely thought that they was going to be able to get away with their bullshit. They got stuck and trapped with, with a lot of rats or a lot of snakes. And they're bound. Remember, I was feeling like somebody was bound and stuck with some really questionable folks. And we have eyes without a face playing. And there goes this here, you know. This person doesn't even have a face. And this is um, Billy Idol, eyes without a face. So someone definitely is dealing with some sort of demonic energies. This is this someone's watching. And this is the eyes without a face here. So see that? Eyes without a face. You know, because if you look up there, the, the, the cat eyes, those two eyes here, the, it, there's no face. So with that energy, there's definitely... Um, Someone thought that they was going to have some sort of positive outcome and it landed them in a, a little situation. Remember, Bob Marley was just playing jamming and I said somebody's caught up in a jam. Somebody got caught up and they thought it was going to have a passionate new start with someone. And what they did was they got caught up in some sort of uh, connection they felt bound and stuck to. And this person, if you look, it's like there's a little rat there. So it's like they got stuck with, with like a very low vibrational energy. This, this person trapped them. It's entrapment. This person caused them confusion. I feel like you have a lot of wealth, abundance, opulence, expansion. Things are coming in. Maybe someone's trying to scheme and scam on how to take this from you. But this person thought they were going to have a passionate new start with someone else. And I feel like they got stuck. They got trapped. Maybe they got trapped with a baby. You know, maybe they got trapped and stuck with someone that they don't even want to be with. Look at this. You got gifts coming in from the divine. Blessings, unexpected money, gifts. And here's someone scheming, plotting, and planning. Trying to use words as their vice to, you know, kind of lure you in. Why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? And we have gift. And it, and, and it flew in the reverse, I don't read reversals, but I do feel like this person is going to come in pretending like they want to give you a gift, pretending like they have something to offer, but all they're trying to do is take, you know, it's an illusion, eyes without a face, it says fortune meets opportunity, so this person is trying to look for an opportunity, and they may use, you know, this, this guise of, oh, I'm giving you something, but they're really coming in to take, but we can see here this imprisonment, it ain't going to go too well for them, and they could be doing this because maybe... You know, they feel, um, maybe they feel entitled because you do have a child with them. We have main male here. So this could be, like I said, for feminines, this could be like, you know, the, the father to your children, an ex, someone you've planted seeds, roots, someone you may have a child, a baby girl. Some of you could be pregnant right now with a child because we have fertility here. So this person's going to come in under the guise of, oh, I'm coming to give, but they're really coming in to take. So be mindful of that. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? That flew all the way over there. And look at this poverty. What did I say? Somebody's gonna come in with the like the guys of like they're giving, but they're coming in to take. Why? Because they're struggling. This person is trying to strategize a way to come in because they see that you are uh successful, you know, that you got it going on, that you are independent, you're able to take care of yourself, and this person's struggling. You know, and they, they have deep regret because whoever they left you for, whatever grass they thought was greener, whatever situation they thought was better, 
They done got bound and stuck to a situation where they got got for all of their money. They got for every dime. And we have nothing can come between us, Shade. So look at this. Nothing could come between us. But they let somebody come between it, between y'all. And that was that karmic. So they saying, regardless of what I may have done in the past, nothing could come between us. And they could be saying that. Why? Because they, they broke, busted, and disgusted. This is that energy of someone who's just like, it, it's like they dilapidated. Like they're they doing bad, man. And there's a black cat right here. Right there in the back. Right there. See that black cat? And it says, fortune meets opportunity. So this person is looking for an opportunity to come up. Looking for opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And there's a saying like, don't get in the way of what the divine could be, you know, someone else's karma. You know, trying to save somebody else, you could be interrupting their karma. And with this mature man, I feel like you need to focus on that mature man that the divine is sending you. You know, the divine is sending you someone good. And that's why Archangel Mikael is here because he's telling you, you know, you got to stand in your power. You got to also, you know, you got to cut off what no longer serves you. It is not your job to save anyone. It is your job to save yourselves. And with this mature man, this is someone that's coming in to bring positive change. This is someone very much on your frequency. This is someone that absolutely vibrates with this, this Ostara, this divine feminine energy. Because both of y'all are good on your own. Self-sufficient, powerful, abundant. Why is the sun card here for Scorpios? Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here for Scorpio divine spirit? And we have false person. See that? So this person feels like you bring sun, joy, light into their life. And this person now realizes that whoever they was dealing with was fake. Fugazi. They was just like them. What did I say about they met someone that was very much like them. Someone that was a deceiver. Someone who was wearing a mask. Hold on one moment. My bad. My computer was about to die. And I was like, I would be damned if I did all of that. And the damn lose all of it. <laughs> lose the whole reason. But yeah, someone has come to, you know, some sort of epiphany that somebody that they was dealing with was fake, fugazi. We can see that here clearly with this imprisoned, thought they was going to have a brand new start, thought the sun was shining. And we could even see here with the sun, you see that? And you could see the time clock, you know, you can see that little uh, hourglass, I should say. And that's speaking to divine timing. So someone got, you know... A bit of karma, you know, whatever they was doing in the dark. Like I said, someone was wearing a false mask. Remember in the Halloween Oracle, the feminine was wearing the veil over their eyes. That was you. Now this masculine was wearing the veil over their eyes. And there was a female that they entrusted. And now something's coming to light, coming to surface the truth. And it says nothing could come between us. But I feel like this feminine is the one that came between y'all, that karmic. Or even it's a masculine, you know, because there's two energies there. So masculines reverse that. But this feminine definitely was wearing a mask. She was definitely hiding her face because she has a fan over her face. So she's kind of hiding who she truly is. And this masculine didn't ask enough questions. He too is wearing a mask. So they're both, you know, kind of like, like I said, they're both being fake and foo to one another because you attract what you are. And I feel like when you met this person, you know, you, you really were probably in a very low vibration or in a lower, um, you know, maybe you didn't have as much um, confidence, you know. And maybe that's what, it, you know, drew this person in because they seem to be someone who likes to, to control, you know. And this is someone that you lived with. There was a lot of conflict in the house, a lot of fighting, you know, a lot of opposing op uh, opinions and I feel like you just chose to walk away from all the drama because the situation was just growing out of hand. And I feel like, more importantly, this person was just very much uh, self-serving, very focused on themselves. We have Do um, Palin, and um, this is also by um, Prodigy. So this person was only focused on superficialities, money. They was probably using you for security, for stability, because maybe you were the breadwinner. Maybe you were the one that paid the bills. You know what I'm saying? And as I said, you know, this is this caused a lot of tension because maybe this person never kept a job, you know, never had no steady income coming in. And so we have here message. So there's some sort of message that's coming in. I do feel like someone is making um, uh, some sort of move to to communicate. You know, maybe this person will call, text, email, you know, but there is going to be some sort of. Um, 
there is going to be something, um, some sort of attempt to, you know, I, I feel like they're going to try to like irk you, you know, and I, there's a saying, just ig the ignorance. I feel like, you know, when this message comes in, you know, you'll know what you need to do in terms of whether or not you need to respond or if you just need to leave somebody in red straight up because, you know, when you're vibrating high and others see that it irks them. You know, sometimes your your good news is like, you know, bad news to somebody. So this is somebody just simply trying to come in and like steal your joy. And so you have the power to ignore them. Use your intuition. This number seven is saying, you know, use that crown chakra, you know, be discerning in that situation. Main female, this is your energy. So this is you. The divine is telling you to use your intuition when it comes to any type of communication that may come your way from whether a past person why is this five of swords here this past person refuses to let you go boy refuses they are like got their nails they get gripping holding on we got thoughts see that now this person is definitely thinking of you thinking of what they've done that's why that regrets remorse is there you know they made a lot of unwise decisions they took they gambled and they failed miserably and you can see clearly this gamble look at all the gambling they're doing in the background and they're losing their money. They're losing. And he's sitting here smiling, laughing. Because maybe he won one time. But look at all the other times he failed. So he gambled and now he's stuck and ribbed with, you know, thoughts of you. Thinking of you. This is the number 16 again. So it's that same person that's going to leave a message and, you know, s communicate, reach out to you. But I also feel like, you know, this person doesn't have much integrity. And their motives are questionable. You know, maybe they feel like you... You know, look at that. What did I say? They're in despair. You know, they're in despair. And it's because whoever they took a chance with, whoever it was that they abandoned you for, they feel stuck, bound, imprisoned. They're suffering from poverty. They imprisonment. Like maybe that's even re referencing like of the mind, you know, and they're seeking some sort of divine guidance. We have brand Nubians playing love me or leave me. You know, and so I feel like, you know, this person, you know, this is how you feel like you, either you're going to love me or you leave me alone because I'm not going to sit here putting up with these type of emotional games. Like I'm not, you know, that emotional manipulation is like your worst thing. But this person here, look at this. This is who this person was dealing with. This person is in despair. They got got for everything. They was dealing with somebody who stole everything from them. And now they have nothing. They don't have a wind, a pot to piss in, a window to throw it out of. And that's why the divine is saying you're spiritually protected because this person has got trapped in some sort of like low vibrational shadow energy. Somebody who put spell work and voodoo, hoodoo, juju shit on them. And this person is like literally, they're, they're struggling. They're struggling emotionally. Their mental health is probably really um, suffering right now because I was picking up on mental conflict. And I feel like for a lot of you, y'all going to have to say, like, look, you're going to have to make a judgment call. That's why the judgment call, sh the judgment showed up during the pre-shuffle. You're going to have to make a judgment call, you know, because a lot of you are self-sufficient. You're independent. You're doing well. And it's because you did the work. But someone's also very envious. And I feel like it's whoever that karmic is, very envious, watching, stalking. And she has a very um, tight grip, tight hold on your person and your person's very much in despair you know it's a lot of mental conflict and somebody's just been stealing they're around a bunch of thieves around a bunch of questionable energy they don't really have anybody around them that they could trust and that's why they feel like your love is one in a million because this person definitely has um has dealt with a lot of a lot of questionable sussy type of energy but for some reason i feel like your person is still in you know this very like egotistical low vibrational energy where they refuse to you know admit their wrongs and apologize and so you know it, it, it's just like they have forgiveness here so maybe they will but i do see like with some of these cards it's very conflicting the messages maybe they are reflecting back on how they were being foolish and they do want to come back and apologize. And I feel like with this love me or leave me alone, that's your sentiment. And that's for everybody, not just lovers, just for anybody. If you go and love me or leave me the fuck alone, like I'm not focused on y'all. So leave me alone. Like that's really your sentiment. 
Because you ain't messing with nobody. Y'all just doing you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, this is very interesting. But um, regardless, Archangel Mikael is here. You got, you know, the Archangel um, Artemis, the Guardian, is here. You know, and you are strong enough to deal with all of this. You are the Divine Feminine. So you are in your power. You are not wanting, needing for anything. You're doing well. You know what I'm saying? The Divine Masculine, you're doing well. You know, the sun is out. So that brightens everything up. Bright future, infinite supply. That's how you're seen. This person is drawn to you. But this, this false person here, you know, this is what they're attracted to. They're attracted to your light. They're attracted to whatever it is you have right now. And they're in despair because they missed out, you know. Whatever you got going on, it's like you got a lot of a, of success. And I feel like, you know, you were able to to really stand in your power once you, you know, kind of like separated yourself from this energy. Because this person was just like a succubus, like almost leechy, parasitic energy. Just take, 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 take. And it left you feeling depleted. And now that you're no longer here, they're, they're depleted because they don't have a life force no more. You know, they don't have that sun in their life no more. They don't have you to revitalize them, you know. And so we have um, Tidra Moses still got love. So this person still has love for you. It's very obvious because you're the best thing they ever had. You know, but I feel like you, you, you all are divine feminines. You ain't dealing with this low vibrational shit. You don't have time for this. You don't have time for this. You know what I'm saying? You tried to warn them and they still wanted to sneak and creep. You tried to tell them what was out there. It was nothing out there but demons. You tried to tell them, look, you're going to catch an STD. And I'm not talking about sexually transmitted diseases. I'm talking about spiritually transmitted diseases, beloved. And that's what they did. They went out there and caught themselves a demon. And now they're trying to break free from it. And they feel bound and stuck. They having self-deception. They confused. They feel imprisoned mentally. They're suffering financially. They're in despair. They're dealing with a bunch of people they can't trust. And this is how they made you feel. You felt like you couldn't trust them as far as you can throw them. And now they're sitting here dealing with the same energy. You get back what you give. Whatever seed you, you know what I'm saying, you plant, that's what you're going to reap. And so this person did you dirty and now they're getting a bit of karma. We saw Mama Ma'ad and Justice show up during the pre-shuffle and that's all about karma dharma. It's boomerang effect. That's just the laws of universe, beloved. And I feel like, you know, if you stand in the way of this person's karma, it might hit you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to let people go through what they go through. Nobody came in and saved you when you had to go through it. You had to just tough it out. That's why you have this strength card here because you didn't even know you were strong enough to deal with all the disappointments and the betrayal. I feel like many of y'all had to learn that nobody in your circle was real. And so y'all had to do some cuts for real, for real. Not just family, friends, lovers, people you knew for years. You was cutting them off left and right. Because in your darkest nights, your darkest moments, they took those as opportunities to take shots. They didn't see you getting back up. They didn't see you growing and evolving and ascending and even surviving those situations. They used those as moments to laugh at you, point fingers at you, talk down on you. Almost say, ah, uh -huh, you know, without saying it. But this is literally like, you know, this is what this is what the divine does. It's like, you know, what you put out in the universe, you get it back. And I feel like with this infinite possibilities that came out in the first card out the gate. And that's telling me that you all definitely did a lot of soul searching, a lot of healing. And you've transmuted and transformed and you've gone through enormous change and you've grown tremendously. So. Kudos to you, Scorpios. I give love and light to y'all for your journey. I thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you found that this reading resonated, please be kind and hit that like, the share, the subscribe button. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. And if you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, big fat Ashe. Love and light.